Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your full moon eclipse reading for the month of July. Keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, and as always, I hope everyone is doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard is Who Is She To You by Brandy. I'm going to leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it if you so choose to. Now keep in mind, this is a full moon eclipse reading. Full moons remove things out of our life that no longer serve us. And with the added energy of the eclipse, it eclipses it out two times all the more powerful, right? So for this reading, we're going to be talking about things that are going to be removed after, you know, during this cycle with this moon. What I picked up with that song is you're going to be eclipsing out the lack of clarity, right? Because the song that I heard, Who Is She To You? I feel like you are being you or your loved one. Either you're being accused of something or someone is, you're accusing someone of something. And it has to do with a third party. I'm picking it up strong as day. I know you guys get so tired of hearing third party stuff, right? But that's what I'm picking up. And I feel like it's someone that you have a great deal of history with because I did see the Six of Cups and then I also seen the Tower card. So I feel like for some of you all, someone may have moved out of a home that you two share together or you may have moved out of a home that you two share together. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be completely honest, what I was picking up is that what someone was being accused of could very well be true. But I feel like the details were jumped, fumbled. Somehow some, some parts of the details were kind of skewed. Like things were not as clear as they should be. And I feel like that eclipse of energy, what it's going to be sweeping out is the lack of clarity, complete clarity in regards to the situation. I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen an Ace of Swords. If we don't, I'm still feeling that as an overlying energy, okay? And also, for those of you who are in tune with the astrological signs, um, this is a full moon eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorns and Cancers predominantly will be affected by this energy, and that does not mean in a negative way. It's just more so your intuition will be much more higher during this time. Capricorn and Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And then also, I feel like there's going to be major changes and major shifts with people who have those placements. So just keep that in mind also, okay? As always, I'm going to party randomly, get a different card at the bottom of the deck. And then as always, both of the decks are completely upright. So at the bottom of the deck, absolutely. And I said this, like, I feel like <laughs> if someone was being accused of cheating, it, I, I do feel like they were juggling more than one person. If you are accusing someone of cheating, I feel like, yes, that they, they were juggling you and another person. And if you were accused of cheating, I feel like you may have been entertaining another person. If you weren't, okay, that's fine. But somebody was doing some juggling. Clear as day. Someone was doing some juggling. Could have been with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone rising Venus, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone rising Venus. I'm saying that because clear as day, we have a large body of water right behind this individual. And somebody thought they were slick and they were getting away with it and they were having a jolly good time. Look at how happy she looks. So somebody was really entertaining this time, entertaining multiple people, right? As we part the deck, again, there are no reversals. Somebody, look, you know, you guys know anytime I part it, whatever stands out, those are the cards I'm going to discuss. Somebody definitely wants a reconciliation if there was a separation with the judgment card. But somebody's hesitant. Not sure if they should move forward with it. Again, more earthy energy. I feel like an earth sign could be involved. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You see how she's just kind of pausing right before she picks pentacles? She has a basket. There's no pentacles in there. She's not sure if she should move forward because guess what? There was some heartbreak involved. There was definitely some heartbreak involved. And clear as day, the name of the song, like I said, Who Is She To You? I feel like it was third party. We seen the two of pentacles, you know. There was some other there was someone else involved. If you don't have strong Taurus placements, and I, I didn't mean to say specifically Taurus, no such thing as coincidence. So the, a third party could be a Taurus, someone rising Venus individual. 
your love interest could be a Taurus, sun moon, ri sun, moon rising, Venus individual. That because I I meant to say Earth sign. So if your person isn't an Earth sign, then they could have been entertaining an Earth sign, or you could have. You would know how the situation applies. For your clarifying deck at the bottom, yeah, some of you guys definitely could have been dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But also, Leo, I feel like this is your energy, right? I feel like a lot of you all are finding out some truths about a situation and you're putting your foot down because he's sitting on his throne. And remember, this was not just at the bottom of the deck. I just shuffled it to make it such. And I want to tell you, I feel like Leo, I feel like you guys are definitely finding some things out. You see how he's looking over off into the distance? He, he, he literally has tunnel vision. His eyes are so focused on whatever it is at the distance. I feel like a lot of you guys are some information is being brought to you guys and then also i feel like this is you sitting on your throne making a judgment call you sitting on the throne that's this this in your castle in your home so i feel like you all are, are having to make a judgment call to put someone out if you haven't already as we part the deck yeah look at that <laughs> come on now i can't make this up look ooh, look at that Ten of Pentacles, this has to do with the home life again. Somebody was put out the home. Third party, one, two, three people. One, two, three people. Again, earth sign energy, earth sign energy, right in the middle. Three of Cups. Pentacles on both sides. If you were not dealing with an earth sign, your person was dealing with an earth sign. And, and, and the earth sign person, strong earth sign placements was the third party. Okay? I want to get an additional message. Yeah, a lot of you guys are going to pull back from this situation. Four of Swords is always my pull back, retreat, fall back, distance yourself from this person so that you can focus on what it is you need to do next. This is self-care, taking care of yourself, taking time for mental clarity because Swords is always about um, communication and mental. I feel like also once you guys find out these truths, you're, this is when you're really going to decide to distance yourself from this individual. This could have happened in um, Gemini season also with this sword energy here. And, yeah. And just as I say that as I part the deck and you guys are watching how I'm parting this. Look at that. King of Swords. This could have, this information that came through during Gemini season. It could also involve an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I always tell you guys, swords up. That's yes. If the card would have came up in reverse, sword down. That's no. Yeah. Somebody came through with some communication. You found out some truths about a situation and you decided to walk away from this individual and pull back. Let's get two cards. One is going to be a general energy and the second is going to be a possible outcome for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Hmm. Yeah, somebody found out some truths about a situation, about a love interest. I keep wanting to say cancer. So some of you guys... Could involve a cancer, someone rising, Venus individual. I keep wanting to say that. And then remember, I did say, look, we had this earlier also. I remember I said Earth sign, then also water with that large body of water in the background. And I said I want to say cancer before this even flipped over. So some of you guys, it's between a Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, someone rising, Venus, and possibly someone with strong cancer placements in that chart. At the bottom of the deck, two of Pentacles in reverse. No more, you know, they can do all the juggling they wanted to, but they weren't prosperous. It, it didn't lead to anything positive with it coming up in reverse. And of course, the Two of Pentacles is about someone who needs to make a decision. In reverse, they've made a decision. This definitely has to do with a home life, someone that you had a connection with. And remember, I just said Cancer. Someone could definitely be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You can have children with this individual. This person could have children. You could have been talking about having children with this individual. A lot of you all felt like this was going to be your happily ever after, your Ten of Cups. Let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You got the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. And Ten, that's the end of a situation. So you felt like this was your end all be all with this individual. And I, okay, and I'm also picking up with this right here, right? For some of you guys, the message that you could have got was that your person got someone else pregnant or for the men that this baby may not be yours because if you look at the really look at this card the baby and the male figure is looking up at the cups she's looking in a completely different direction 
So there is a hint and there is an energy of a lack of truth about a situation. Like something is suspect. I, I do feel like that's the case. Home life is definitely affected by it. But I feel like if you live with this person, there was a, a great deal of comfort. You had financial comforts, monetary comforts in this home life with this individual. Look, this won't even go in. <laughs> so you have the nine of, mm -hmm, well, yeah. nine of wands in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse. There was definitely some conflict and someone walked away. As you can see right here. Again, Sword Energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And also something could have happened in Gemini season. It's coming up in reverse. And then a Nine of Wands coming up in reverse. This is your energy. Nine of Wands up right. This is about a heaviness. It's a heavy energy. Feeling like there was conflict. But someone still had a little bit of fight in them. If you look at it right behind him, there's eight wands. So you could have been with this person for eight months, eight years. I'm feeling a longer time, eight years possibly. You could have known this person for eight years. Um, you could have separated from this person eight days, eight weeks, eight months ago. It's coming up in reverse. And I, I said that I feel like there was some rumors and communication. You know, like I said, there was, there was a lack of truth in the situation with the source. Because again, source communication and the mental. And the song that I heard, I'm hearing it again, who is she to you? Like, I feel like somebody, there was a lack of truth and communication in regards to another person, a third party. I, I really do feel like there was a third party because we did see that three of cups. I do feel like there was a third party for something, but I do feel like the communication that you heard about it, the message that you heard about it, I don't feel like it was completely true. And that's why the five of swords is coming up in reverse. I don't feel like all the details was completely true. Let's hold the deck down and get an additional message. Yeah, the high priestess. And a lot of you guys intuitively kind of felt like, let me do my own research. Because something just isn't adding up. This person could have first, middle, and last initial B or J. I'm hearing something about Brooke. And I'm seeing, I'm hearing Brooke with an E. B-R-O-O-K-E. Someone could stay on Brooke Street, Brooke Avenue, something to that nature. This person's name could be Brooke, first, middle, or last. Um... Johnson also, last name I'm hearing. But, you know, something about this situation raised a red flag for you or this person. And somebody's doing some research. Somebody's doing some research. The world card, you and this person could be at a distance. Both, you have major arcanas for both. And you see how in the world card, the angelic figure is looking towards the high priestess. I feel like the universe is telling you that this distance was needed. But you need to use your intuition and do some research. And remember I was saying earlier, there was way too many people involved in the situation. You had one, two, three, four. And even though these are the energies, these are the elements, I feel like just around, like in this circle would be you and your partner's energy. But all around you guys, it was a lot of he say, she say, a lot of gossip, a lot of, uh, it was a lot of going on. Just seen a tower card, a lot of going on in the situation. star card i just seen somebody wants healing and wish fulfillment but look at that again yeah and i knew that and i just said there was definitely some third party situation at one point and keep in mind we just seen the high priestess that's all knowing truth clarity upright the two of swords she's blindfolded she doesn't see the truth of a situation but i feel like she you know two of swords this person is choosing not to see it because she can put those swords down and take that blindfold off she's choosing to sit in lack of truth Again, going back to the high priestess, it's coming up in reverse, and that's why we've seen the high priestess, because you can no longer deny what you've seen. Again, that pinnacle energy, I feel like some of you guys questioned whether or not they were entertaining this earth sign individual, and it was right in your face, but you were like, no, this person would never do that to me, but it was right in your face, I feel like. Again, back to the high priestess also, it was right in your face, you knew it, but a lot of you all were denying it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles in reverse. What's right up under that? Yeah. But I feel like, again, I feel like for you, Leo, Summer, Rising, Venus, you're going to be the one who's victorious in this situation. Because I feel like this happened to you. And you're going to have to drop some clarity or you're going to find out some truth and clarity about a situation. I feel like you could have been accused of some things also. You're going to find, I feel like for you guys, you're going to find out some truths. And then also, it's going to be, it's going to be clarity on both 
sides. I'm hearing deflected. Like this person could have done some wrongdoing, but they're going to deflect and say that it was you. You know, again, strong air sign energy. You had the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and also I'm going to say it could have, yeah, hmm, look at that. It could have definitely been during Gemini season. You had a Ten of Cups upright, Ten of Cups in reverse. Clear as day, this is just like what I was saying. Like, you know, I feel like there was some cheating. I do feel like there was some cheating and there was some happiness. And you feel like this person was your life partner. But then, you know, it's now you had a Ten of Cups in reverse. Two separate decks, same card. Again, I feel like there was some outside interference because look at that. This baby and this man are looking completely up at them cups, but she's looking in a different direction. I feel like someone had a wondering eye. Again, bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords. Five of Swords. Something happened during Gemini season. Something went down during Gemini season for a lot of you all. And keep in mind, that was literally just a couple days ago. Let's get a clarifier for the Five of Swords. Okay. Yep. Hey, man, in reverse. No longer, things are no longer being concealed. You're no longer at a standstill because you have truth about the situation. And keep in mind, five of swords, right? Of right, you, you know, there's arguments, confrontation, there's a heavy disagreement. Someone's walking away. It's coming up in reverse. And again, that's some communication that came through that caused conflict. You guys are getting down to the bottom of it. Hey, man, in reverse. Seeing the truth about a situation. Upright, you're not seeing the truth about a situation. Your your vision is skewed. Just like that two of swords. It's like you're not seeing things clearly. Upright, there's clarity. You're no longer hanging on to the words of others. And you're no longer just sitting back, letting, allowing your name to be tarnished. Or this person is no longer sitting back, allowing their name to be tarnished. So truths are coming in. Because if you look right behind his head, you see how it looks like a glow, like a halo. Some illumination also takes me back to that high priestess energy. Somebody is, mm, and I'm also hearing that somebody is like, oh, I get it. Like somebody's having an aha moment. Like somebody is realizing that what was said is not, two and two is not adding up right. Somebody's two and two is adding up to six. And I'm hearing something about six. So there could be a six year age gap. You could have found some things out six days ago six weeks ago but i don't feel like it was that far i feel like it was closer in time you know i feel like you know something is just not adding up and somebody's like oh okay and and, and it's like that's when this conversation is going to be had because the five of swords upright that's conflict you're too busy fighting to get any type of clarity but in reverse it's like okay somebody put the swords down and i feel like both parties there's two people in the cards both parties are putting the swords down and there's going to be some truth that's coming out. Now, keep in mind, like I said, clear as day, I still feel like there was some type of outside interference. But I just kind of feel like it wasn't what you were told or what this other person was told. I feel like, again, there was too many people involved and somebody in this situation was being messy. That's, that's honestly what I'm getting. Somebody in the situation was being messy. I feel like for their own personal gain is what I'm picking up. That's definitely what I'm hearing. But there's, I said earlier, I felt like there was going to be clarity. And the hangman in reverse is no longer confused about anything. They have the clarity that they need to move forward and move on. Because, and this is also, and this is Major Arcana, this is also giving me an energy that this, some, this is the closure that someone needed so that they can move on. That's what I'm picking up. Okay? So, Leo, someone rising in Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.